Good morning. Good morning. We welcome you to Kingdom Engaging in the Morning. Amen. It is just about 7 a.m. in Florida, and we are back into the Exponential Series. This, of course, was unplanned, but we have to do what the Holy Spirit says to do. Good morning to everyone. I am Apostle Sonia Chambers, and I will be uh, encouraging all of us this morning, including myself, related to this exponential series. Uh, um, last evening we did exponential and we did C3. But uh, early this morning, the Holy Spirit woke me up and said, you know, you started with C, but what about A and B? So then uh, the Spirit of the Lord started to speak to me related to that. So uh, this morning we'll be doing A3. And I just want to Begin by opening in a word of prayer. Father God, we just thank you and we just praise you for this time. We thank you for the there's new mercies that we see each morning. We thank you for this exponential series that you have created, God. It's your word. So, Father, we just want to be obedient to your word. We want to do what you say do. We want to trust you when we can't trace everything that's going on. But we just want to give you the honor, the glory, and praise in Jesus' name. And we all say amen. Amen. So last evening, I did a series called Exponential C3. And uh, the key stripter in this um, exponential series is Genesis 1, 28, which is NLT, which is saying, Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Rain over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. And one of the things that um, I want to just say good morning to each and every person uh, that's going to tune in. And when you see it, it may not be morning, but hello anyway from uh, Florida. Uh, you know, this exponential, this multiplication that uh, God is taking us all into that we're transitioning to, especially those of us who've been working in the kingdom for a long time, trying to advance it, sharing the gospel. There's some steps that uh, God is um, walking me through, and I'm just sharing it with you. This is not a cookie cutter. Uh, this is just the word of God uh, and the Holy Spirit walking us through a process. Amen? So today, this morning, I'm talking about exponential A3. And I, you know, let me be uh, transparent with you. I did not plan to be live this morning. But I am working diligently to be obedient unto the Spirit, obedient to what Christ is saying, obedient to what my instructions are. So I want to just encourage each and every one of us that there are steps that are, we, we have to, uh, there's character things that we're trying to sort out. There's steps that we have to, to make to move forward in who God is calling us to be. So... This morning, I was reminded of the scripture that uh, we talked about last night, which is do not quench, subdue, or be unresponsive to the working and guidance of the Holy Spirit. So that's 1 Thessalonians 5, 19, and that's amplified. So here we are. The apostle teaches it. Now she got to live it. This morning, the Lord said, get up and you got to go live at 7 a.m. So here we are. Now, this morning, we're going to be talking about A3. And A3 is, uh, there's three components to this A3, because yesterday we talked about C3, which it was our, what, anybody remember? Our compassion, be compassionate, be our courage, and we talked about our consistency. So this morning we'll be talking about our attitude. So the first in the A3 is our attitude. The attitude is the way you think and feel about someone or something. A feeling or a way of thinking that affects a person's behavior. Philippians 2, 14 to 15 says, Do all things without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent. And this morning, I felt like I wanted to grumble. Is anybody with me? I felt like I'm saying, Lord, I just, you know, I, I want to rest. I just want to, you know, relax. And you're saying, get up. Write a teaching, write what I tell you to write, state it when I was stated, um, say it the way you want me to say it, go live this morning. And I said, 
Okay, what do you do? So we have to do all things without grumbling or questioning. So I could not really question the Holy Spirit. I couldn't try to figure out what's happening at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. But this morning, someone needs a word. They need to know that we need to think. We need our attitude checked. The way you think and feel about someone or something. How do you feel about your relationships? How do you feel about your family? How do you feel about your relationship with God? Because it affects your behavior. So we got to do things now without grumbling or questioning. We can't just be murmuring and complaining and saying, God, why me? And I could have said, God, why I got to get up? Why I got to take a shower? Why I got to get myself together? I was just on last night. But that's not our responsibility. Time is winding up. Jesus is coming soon. And we all have to get in line and move in step than what we're supposed to be doing. Amen? It says, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. So we got to let our light shine that men will see and glorify God. And I, I feel like, uh, you know, I was sensing that the Lord was saying to me, you moved forward too quickly. You went to C3 and there's an A and a B. He has not shared those with me yet, but today he gave me A. So, you know, let's not get ahead of God. Amen. It says, be a light in the world. And this morning I'm saying to you, be a light in your community. Be a light in your family. Be a light to a darkened world. There are so many people that need the encouragement. And we got to check our attitude. And our attitude is not related to what we say. It's what we text. It's how our face looks. You know, your facial expressions says a lot. Don't come near me. Don't look at me. So we have to not only just check in our spirit, but work on having a smile in our face and a jump in our steps. So people will see that we are the light of the world. We are, we are disciples of Christ. We are Christians. You can't approach me. Amen. The next A, cause we did, uh, the attitude. Now we're going to do the assignment. An assignment is a task or a piece of work assigned to someone as part of a job or a course of study. What is your assignment? Colossians 3, 23, the Amplified says, whatever you do, hallelujah. And I'm saying whatever you do. So guess what the Lord is saying? Do something, whatever you do, do something. Whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work from the soul that is put in your very best effort. As something done for the Lord and not for men. And a lot of the times what we do, we, we, uh, we get an assignment and we just do it so that others can say, you're doing great. You want to pat on the back, but we have to work as unto the Lord. We're working for the King. We're working for the master. We're working for our savior. We're working for our deliverer. We're working for our friend. So whatever the task may be, so I'm saying it's time for us to get our hands to the plow. We can no longer just sit back and, and act like there's nothing for us to do unto the Lord. And it has nothing to do with where you are in life, your stage in life. You can pray, you can call, you can text, you can encourage, hallelujah, you can love, mm. you can sow, you can go, you can grow to be all that God has called you to be. So we got to look at our attitude first because we got to be approachable because if you have an assignment and have a bad attitude and your assignment is to a person, then what? They don't want to receive from you. So we got to check our attitudes and then we got to look at our assignment. Amen. So I want uh, in the comments, the scriptures are Philippians 2, 14 to 15, and then also Colossians 3, verse 23. Amen. And the last thing we'll be sharing this morning is your action. Oh, A3, remember? A3, your attitude, your assignment. Now it's your action. The fact or process of doing something typically to achieve an aim. What are you trying to achieve? What's another word for action? Your steps, your activity. What are you doing? Many of us in this season, we're exercising. You know, people are in the gym and they're working out because they have an aim. They want to lose weight. They want to tone up and so forth. But what is your aim in Christ? What is your action steps? Are you reading your word? Are you studying your word? Are you just even writing an index card with a scripture and reminding yourself to stand on a particular word? 
to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, and soul. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. No good thing will he withhold from me as we walk up right before him. What are we standing on? Hallelujah. What is our action? What is our aim? Are we just aimlessly just saying we're going to be a Christian and then as we grow in Christ, are we just going to say, all right, now I go to heaven. Hmm. There's a road to heaven, but it's not to be walked alone. We're supposed to invite others and tell them about Christ. So what's our action? Mm. What's the activity that we're going to do? So Father, even now in the name of Jesus, as we, uh, you know, do this kingdom engagement morning, expand our mind to see what you want us to do. Show us the steps, God. Show us the measures that you want us to take. Show us the activity, what we should be doing. Show us the movement, where we should go. Show us the work, where we should put our hands to. Father, help us to exert the pressure that's needed so others can feel your presence and your purpose. Help us, oh God. Give us the initiative. Hallelujah. Give us initiative. Give us inventions, ideas, strategic plans, even now in this early morning, God, to do your will, your way. Because we're fixing our attitude, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to complete our assignment here on earth, God. But show us the action steps. So, Father, we give you honor and we give you glory in Jesus' name. And the action scripture is James 4, 17. And this, I'm reading in the Amplified. And it says, so any person who knows what is right to do but does not do it, to him, it is sin. So there's things that God has told you to do. There's people that God has told you to reach out to. There are people that God told you to meet. There are children that need to be loved and encouraged. There's people that you have to forgive. There, I, you know, I, I want to share a story and then I'll be closing because it's an early morning. And I wanted to be obedient to what the Lord was saying. And he's never made me do this where he says, get up and go live and kingdom engage in the morning. But it's not my responsibility to figure out what to do. I just have to be obedient to the instruction. So even though I might have had an attitude and said, Lord, what you saying? I woke up and I took a shower and I got myself together because the kingdom of God is at hand. We have to put pressure. We have to be encouraged. To move forward in what God is saying. We, we, we can't just sit back and have an attitude about everything. We can't sit back and know we have assignments unto the Lord and just don't do it. Everything that we do is unto the Lord. Our jobs give him glory. Our attitude would give him glory. Mm. Our behavior would give him glory. But our action steps is what he's looking for. Because remember, Jesus Christ went up on a cross for you and for me. And if he went up for you and for me, what won't we do for him? He died before we even came. Before we was in our mother's womb, he knew us. And he knew we had purpose. All the gifts, all the talents. Hallelujah. Put it into action. If you know how to crochet, knit a baby a hat. If you know how to cook, send food to someone that needs help. If you know how to pray, call someone and pray. But every gift, every talent that we have needs to be put to work to show the glory of God. So as I close out this morning, because I'm not before you long, because this was not even planned, but the Holy Spirit said, get up and tell them about the A3, which is we need to fix our attitude. We need to talk right. We need to fix our face. We need to fix our fingers and not text some crazy things to people. Amen. We need to complete our assignments that God gives us. And no assignment is too big or too small. You don't have to be an apostle, an evangelist, a pastor, a teacher, right? To, to talk about or, or prophet. You don't have to be. You just have to know that you accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Do you know that there's a purpose and a plan for your life? And it's to prosper you and give you good success. And know that Jesus loves you with an unfailing love. So on this morning, he's encouraging myself as well as you. We're going to to move into the exponential. We're going to have to fix the A3. We're going to work on our attitude. We're going to complete the assignments that God has given us. And we're going to get into action. So God bless you all. I love you. It's early morning. The sun just rose in Florida. And it is uh, kingdom engagement in the morning. 
I am Apostle Sonia Chambers, and we just love God. We just thank him for his word, and we just thank him for this early morning and continue to worship and give him glory and honor. And I just thank you for stepping in, and I encourage you to do your A3. Fix the attitude, do your assignment, move into action. God bless you all, and good morning.